Good evening, everyone. It is Sunday evening, and uh, Sunday is kind of running into Monday around here at the moment. We've just completed washing down the harvester, uh, parking it up. We're hoping to get a uh, second cut silage done maybe around the end of next weekend, early the, f early the following week, depending on the weather. We'll see how it works out, but yeah, harvester just needs a little bit of greasing and she's ready to go. Nothing needs done to it. Uh, tonight's video, though, uh, we are going to be making a video on uh, this bucket, uh, a grab bucket, which has been very kindly uh, loaned to me for a few weeks to, to test it out, try it out, uh, see what I think of it, make a few videos on it, and uh, generally uh, maybe give it a little bit of publicity to, to show that it's on the market and out there. Uh, the, Kind men up in Fast Parts, Stroke Farmhand, uh, it was that contacted me and, and left it down to me. So we'll do a little video on it, uh, we'll talk around it, see, more or less give like a general opinion to it. Haven't used it yet, uh, it's here almost a week, but I was hoping to get this video made towards the end of last week, but one thing or another, it just kind of was pushed back for a few days. So um, let's have a little walk around it and we'll see see what we think of it. So yeah, we're going to have this for a couple of weeks to, to test out, try out, use in a couple of different applications maybe. Uh, we'll make a few different videos over the few weeks and uh, hopefully get some use out of it before it has to go back. Um, it's a quickie implement obviously, uh, you probably would have seen that at the at the side, see the quickie symbol there. Um, grab bucket, uh, this one here is the 2.3 metre version of it, it's available in in numerous different sizes um, there was a size bigger than this which I could have got probably but uh, I wasn't sure just how heavy it would be for the front of the front of the machine so I didn't like to, to just go too greedy with it but uh, yeah a couple of the extras on this that isn't on them all uh, these little side panels here for holding in the material is on it uh, I'm not sure if this here is an extra this here may be on them for, as standard uh, this extra blade here on the front is also an extra. Uh, it is a, a heck of a blade made of high tensile steel uh, and very well wearing. Uh, some nice designs on it which I, I liked. Uh, one of which was the fact that uh, it's bolted on, that something happens it, you damage it, you bend it, you do something that you shouldn't have done with it, you can swap it over, change it over very quickly. So. Uh, I like that. Uh, the other thing is that it's in three sections, you can see there. Uh, there's an outer section, which stops here. The middle section then, which is a little bit bigger, which comes over here. And then the last, looks like about 12 inches maybe, or a little more, uh, is also uh, in, in the section. So it can be swapped around. If you damage a part of it, you can swap different sec sections of it rather than having to go change the whole blade. The other thing which I really liked was that if you wear this down, you wear it back in here, you just take it out and you can reverse the blade. So that's a very nice feature on it. Uh, we've had to weld in a, in a new piece of a blade onto our own bucket there lately. And having the likes of that feature where you can just loosen probably about 20 bolts and, and swap the whole thing around is a really nice feature also. So uh, yeah, there is a couple of nice features on it like that. Um, uh, the bucket itself is built extremely strong. Uh, there's all different strengthening, uh, strengthening brackets and pieces in it all over the place. Um, you can see even here on the on on the fork end of it, uh, or the grab end of it, like it's 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 it, it's got all little gussets and and strengtheners on it. So really is it's it's built to last. Two strong rams on it. Uh, opens and closes fairly quickly and. It's it's big, like if you this full of dung, I don't know if this machine had wanted any bigger than that. Uh, when this would be full of damp dung, it would know it was on the front of it, I'm sure. Um, so that's really it. Uh, it's the multi bean or bin XL is what it's called. So definitely a nice a nice tool. Uh, comes with a place here on the back of it where you can interchange whatever brackets your machine needs. So you can see there it's all, it's just four bolts on each one, two top, two bottom, and you can take this off, change it over for a Manitou headstock or for a JCB, whatever you got. So all easily interchanged depending on the machine you got. So yeah, 
that's it. We'll we're gonna use it this evening. We're gonna fill the the feeder with it to see what it's like in general application around the yard initially. Uh, it'll be filling meal, uh, potatoes, and different things. So we'll try it out and see see how it works. Uh, we have a little bit of dung that we'll have to fill. That'll be later in the week. And yeah, we'll do a video on that. We've also got some. Uh, we've got some bushes, if you remember, from a hedge we took down that has to be burned. But there's also some so many bits of logs and stuff that we've cut up. So this here would be ideal. We'd be able to get in there, uh, scoop them up, and load them onto a trailer or move them across the field, wherever we want to go with it. So we'll try it out. We're going to be using it in a few different applications now over the next couple of weeks. And uh, we'll see see how it all works out. We'll video it all and see how the, it progresses along. So let's uh, start to fill the feed up and we'll see how we go, go with it. Now, so we'll start to fill the feed up. Uh, we've just started off now. Uh, I'll do an open and close test just so you kind of see how quick it is to open and close. So that's it fully open and that's it fully closed now. Now, so it's it's fairly quick on the open and close, which will be kind of down to your machine's hydraulics too to a certain degree, depending on how fast the oil flow is. But uh, yeah, no, it is. It's, it's fairly quick on that front. I haven't left myself a whole pile of room here with the with the slurry tank up, but we'll make do. Um, I had some blocks cut out, I cut out now a couple of, a couple of days, so. Uh, now we'll just close it in. Sneak it in now nice and slowly. Uh, the fact that it'll close, we, I'd imagine now we should be able to take a good bit more silage now with us on this run over than, uh, than what we usually can with the, our own bucket. Uh, there's a decent amount of silage in that bucket, you can see it's right packed out full. I uh, had some of the silage cut out for a few days now. Uh, the cows when we them out yesterday, a couple of them decided it would be a good idea to go over and run through the silage. So uh, it's a little bit messy around the front of the pit, but we'll not be long clearing it off now once we, we start lifting it with the bucket. So I'll, uh, I'm just conscious that there's quite a bit of silage in there. I don't want to put too much in and wreck our feed up. Uh, so we'll, we'll just let it in now kind of slowly. Silage. Now, we'll get a little bit of meal and do that end of it too. So we leave the bucket open. has the grab on it isn't really that big of an issue you can uh, you can walk your way around it fairly easily it's not it's not really in the way even though it's sticking out there right, so this is fairly dusty stuff
So we have finished filling the feeder and uh, yeah, happy with how the bucket has worked. Uh, worked as well as I thought it would. Um, yeah, plus is definitely the, the fact that it's got this here on the front is definitely a huge plus. Uh, you've seen it once you went in there into the silage. Uh, I, I would always cut out blocks for for the silage pit. Always cut out a row of blocks. This time of the year with about 50 cattle in. Usually cut out maybe around five, six blocks uh, on the day. And that, that does a couple of days then. So you're not having to continuously be hooking on and off the shear grab. Um, and the silage is used up quick enough before it starts to go off or, or anything like that. So... Uh, the fact that it has got the grab on the on it, you seen when I had the silage in there, it closed down, it clamped onto the clamped onto the the, the silage, and it held it tight. So, um, yeah, it, it and and that's what you want. You want it to hold it tight. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of spillage across the yard. Uh, apart from not having to hook on the grab every day, another reason why I cut out the blocks is that it stops all that spillage. You're coming across there every time with the shear grab. There's always bits falling off underneath it, so you're always losing bits of silage. Uh, and it's harder to control as well, uh, dropping in the, the silage out of the grab. You can, you can kind of, if you only need half a, a block of silage, you can pull the top off it with the, with the bucket, drop it into it, uh, shake it in slowly, and it, it, it works out well. So, yeah, the, the bucket is definitely a big, a big use for that. Um, what else? Uh, I suppose... If there was a downside to it, it's probably that it's a little bit heavier than, than our own normal bucket. You can see it on the front of the machine when you shake it there. You just know it's a wee bit heavier, but that is to be expected. Um, but overall, yeah, very, very happy with how it worked. If you wanted to, it wouldn't be that big of a deal to to pop off the, the grab end of it. You know, it's only three it's only pin here, pin down the bottom, two pipes on each ram. And it leaves that whole part behind. So you could do that if if you really needed to. Uh, looking forward to trying that out um, in the likes of the the dung. See how it works in that. That's what it would be. It's built for that kind of work. So it, I'm looking forward to filling the dung with it. See see how it how it works with that. Um, and also looking forward to the trying it out then uh, moving some of those logs as I was talking about earlier too. So uh, yeah, I'll do some more videos on that. And a little bit of footage, maybe more filling the, the feeder with it. I'm going to continue to fill the feeder with it over the next couple of days. Just try it out and uh, I can come back with a, a more definite uh, review and thoughts on it at the end. But definitely so far so good. Uh, I, I like the machine, there's no doubt about it. Um, yeah, it's nice, nice to have the opportunity to, to, to do the video on it. Uh, nice of farmhand to, to drop it down. Um, and... Uh, it's 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 good then for for them too because I, I'm able to it, it's dropped down here straight into a farming situation where you're putting it into work into an everyday kind of farming situation of working it and using it and and seeing it and and, and getting the a bit of feedback on it so uh, it's it's good in that respect or anyone thinking about buying one uh, to get to see it being used uh, in an everyday kind of situation is is also good so. Uh, it's a bit of a win-win. Good for the channel too. It's a little bit different. A few machines, if they were dropped down, all the better. Um, it it it's a different kind of content or something a wee bit different too, and some for the viewers to to look at. So uh, it's win-win, I think, on everyone's side. Uh, that's really it. I'm going to uh, go and feed the cattle. You can probably hear them bawling in the background. Uh, I've lost about an hour, I suppose. <laughs> making this video so uh they're running a little we're running a little bit high behind with them and uh they're kind of hungry so that's it as always uh thanks for watching don't forget to hit the sub button and yeah hit the like button throw a little comment down below and uh, let me know what you think of these these grab buckets if you've got one of them so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one